Hi there, mathematicians. Let's get started with points, lines, and planes, sketching their intersections. This is section 1.1.2. All right, let's take a look at our first diagram of intersecting objects. When two or more ge geometric figures intersect, it's when they have one or more points in common. So we can say that the intersection of the figures is the set of points the figures have in common. So let's take a look at our two objects here. We have two lines in the same plane intersecting at exactly one point. When we name the intersecting point, we can say in this case where line L is intersecting line M, at point X. Notice the structure of the sentence. Notice the naming of the objects. So lines can be named with a lowercase scripted letter. Points are capital regular letters. And here's a sentence structure that would explain or describe what's going on in the figure. So let's take a look at these other situations where we have lines intersecting. So here we have line M intersecting line N at point Y. Again, noticing the labels and what the label represents for the object is important. Our final example, we have line L and line N intersecting at point Z. All right, our next figure represents some objects intersecting. So here we have the intersecting intersection of a plane and a line not in the plane. So a plane and a line not in the plane intersect at exactly one point. So let's take a look at our specific objects here. We have plane P and line L intersecting at point X. The plane represented by a quadrilateral capital scripted letter names the plane. And then when this line, notice how it's passing through the plane. We know it's passing through the plane because of the dashed portion here of line L. So when a line passes through a plane, it will intersect that plane at exactly one point, in this case, point X. Another example, we have line M passing through. Again, noting how it's passing through with the dashed portion of the line. And it's intersecting plane P at point Y. All right, our next figures intersect when two uh, represent two planes intersecting. So the intersection of two planes is a line. So note here plane P and plane R naming two different planes. When these two planes intersect one another, that intersection is a line. So we can see it kind of in the fold here. So the way we describe it as a sentence using proper notation and naming, we have plane P and plane R intersect at line L. Let's take a look at this second example. We have plane T and plane S, and they're intersecting at this line here called M. So the way you describe it, you say plane S and plane T intersect at line M. All right, take a moment to pause the video here and give these a try. Mark the intersection point or points if there's more than one of the following figures using a colored pen or a highlighter. All right, so let's check our answers. So for figure A, it's two lines intersecting. So the point of intersection is a single point. So your point that should be highlighted is right here where the two lines intersect. 
For figure B, it is two planes intersecting. When two planes intersect, it is a line. So there are infinitely many points in common. In our final figure, C, we have a plane and a line intersecting, and that point of intersection is a single point. All right, let's just check our vocabulary and see how we're doing with completing a sentence. Fill in the following statement, so pause the video here and then unpause to reveal the correct answers and see how you did. All right, so for answer A, the intersection of two lines is a point. The intersection of two planes is a line. The intersection of a line and a plane is a point. So these are great examples of no picture and just making sure you understand some of the vocabulary. All right, take a moment here to pause and just practice sketching two planes that intersect in a line as you see here in the figure. And this page reference is the page in the textbook, not your journal. So your step one would be to draw a vertical plane so that's this yellow portion. So if you just draw like what looks like a rectangle or a square on your paper, that's step one. Then to draw a second plane that is horizontal, shade this plane a different color. So notice how it kind of looks like a parallelogram. So you can start by sketching in what looks like a parallelogram. And then when you get to this part right here, we have to pretend like we can't see the rest of the parallelogram that represents the plane. So that's why it's dashed. But you would still sketch it in the shape of a parallelogram. And it would be a different color. And then your final step is to draw the intersection, which is a line. So you can highlight this line M in a different color. That's step three. So just practice. Don't have to be perfect at first try. You definitely get better with practice, so give it a try to practice drawing your planes and intersecting objects. All right, take a look at the figure you see here and give numbers four, five, and six a try. So just pause here. You want to practice your vocabulary. You want to practice your symbols and your notation of objects in space and then understanding how to describe the intersection. So pause here, give these a try, then unpause to reveal your answers and see how you did. All right, so number four, naming the intersection of line PQ and line K. So PQ is on or contained in plane A and line K is contained in both planes B and A. So the point of intersection is point M. All right? Intersection of plane A and plane B is line K, as you see here. And then the naming of the intersection of line K and plane A is line K. All right, so in summary, make sure you know how to describe each of these figures with proper notation and vocabulary, know how to sketch, and know how to label. Bring any clarifying questions to class. See you then.